Hi there! Today we're embarking on a captivating journey as we step back in time to explore the legendary TV series, Charlie's Angels. I'm sure many of you hold fond memories of this classic show. Charlie's Angels is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting the series with the entire cast, then and now. We'll uncover the original identities and ages of the talented actors from the show and witness how they've transformed in the year 2023. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Charlie's Angels together, Cheryl Ladd as Chris Monroe. After Farrah Fawcett's eventful departure from the series, Cheryl Ladd was enlisted to portray Chris Monroe, the funny and spirited younger sister of Fawcett's character. Ladd's Hollywood journey commenced with her singing talent, lending her voice to Melody on the Hanna-Barbera animated series Josie and the Pussycats. Concurrently with her rise on Charlie's Angels, Ladd witnessed a revival in her music career, culminating in her performance of the national anthem at the Super Bowl in 1980. Her ventures extended to various films, TV series, and even a brief tenure on Broadway. Beyond acting and singing, Ladd boasts publishing achievements. In 1996, she authored the children's book The Adventures of Little Nettie Winship, followed by her autobiography titled Token Chick, A Woman's Guide to Golfing with the Boys in 2005. Despite accumulating a lifetime's worth of accomplishments, it appears she continues occasional forays into acting, having undertaken roles as recently as the previous year. Kate Jackson as Sabrina Duncan. Sabrina Duncan, portrayed by the then-emerging talent Kate Jackson, assumed the role of the de facto leader and brain among the angels. Jackson's entry into television commenced in an unexpected realm. As the silent apparition Daphne Harridge on the supernatural soap opera Dark Shadows, following her theater pursuits in the 1960s. Transitioning into a supporting role in the police procedural The Rookies, Jackson's portrayal caught the attention of Charlie's Angels showrunners Aaron Spelling and Leonard Goldberg, leading to her embodiment of a cop persona. Her tenure as an angel spanned from 1976 to 1979, followed by engagements in numerous TV movies and guest appearances on various series, including Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Family Guy, and Criminal Minds the latter marking her most recent acting credits, dating back to 2007. Jackson's career witnessed both setbacks, such as a concealed breast cancer diagnosis and triumphs, including the adoption of her son, Charles Taylor Jackson. Further insights into her journey may emerge in her forthcoming memoir, initially announced in 2010, but currently in the publishing process, Farrah Fawcett as Jill Monroe blonde sensation. Farrah Fawcett had been part of the Hollywood scene since 1969, exploring diverse roles in both television and film. However, it wasn't until her iconic red swimsuit pinup poster catapulted her into the hearts and minds of every American that she secured her part in the 1976 film Logan's Run, followed by her year-long portrayal of Jill Monroe in Charlie's Angels. If Kate Jackson embodied the intellect, Fawcett epitomized allure, and it was no mystery that numerous fans eagerly tuned in each week to witness her radiant smile and fabulously feathered hairstyle. Indeed, her hair became a cultural sensation, leading her to launch her own line of hair care products. After overcoming legal challenges to exit her five-year contract, Fawcett departed from Charlie's Angels after just one year, opting for a new contract to make occasional guest appearances. Following her stint as an angel, Fawcett transitioned to more serious roles, notably portraying Francine Hughes in the made-for-TV movie The Burning Bed. In the 90s, she ventured into guest roles in animated series like Johnny Bravo and The Brave Little Toaster Goes to Mars. She remained active in the industry until 2006, but sadly she received a cancer diagnosis later that year. Fawcett passed away in 2009 at the age of 62, leaving behind a legacy of captivating smiles, iconic hair, and undeniable talent. 
Jacqueline Smith as Kelly Garrett. The third original angel, Jacqueline Smith, stands as the sole actress to fulfill her entire five-year commitment on the series, embodying Kelly Garrett in a staggering 110 episodes. Following Charlie's Angels, she assumed the role of Jacqueline Kennedy in Jacqueline Bouvier. Kennedy, a TV movie delving into the former First Lady's life pre-Jackie O. She proceeded to engage in various television and film projects, including a notable appearance in 2003's Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle, and roles in more somber police dramas like Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, and CSI, Crime Scene Investigations. In the mid-80s, Smith diversified into design, launching a collection of women's clothing and accessories for the department store chain Kmart. Similar to her fellow angels, Smith faced a battle with cancer in 2003 and participated in the breast cancer documentary One A Minute in 2010. While her latest acting endeavor dates back to 2015, she appears actively committed to her self-named brand and consistently garners praise for her enduring youthful appearance, even in her 70s. Shelley Hack as Tiffany Wells The elegant and glamorous Shelley Hack gained prominence as a fashion model before stepping into the role of Tiffany Wells, succeeding Kate Jackson as an angel. Producers aimed to counter their Jiggle TV image by placing greater emphasis on the ladies' attire, aiming to captivate not only male viewers, but also female fashion enthusiasts. Hack, with her New England background and recognition as the face of Revlon's Charlie Perfume, an apt name, perfectly embodied this vision. Although her tenure on the show was brief, Hack, after a few subsequent acting roles, took a hiatus from the industry in the 90s to engage in political and media consultancy in developing nations. Presently, she and her husband serve as co-presidents of the production company Smash Films. Notably, she finds considerable satisfaction in producing movies with Hallmark, particularly collaborating with aspiring young women writers and performers. David Doyle as John Bosley. Doyle is most fondly recalled for his portrayal of Detective John Bosley in the TV series Charlie's Angels, one of only two actors, the other being original angel Jacqueline Smith, to feature in all 110 episodes of the series, 1976-1981. Doyle made numerous guest appearances on the game show Match Game from 1977 to 1982. He participated in a week of Password Plus in 1980, three weeks of Super Password, and in Tattletales alongside his wife Anne in 1982. He lent his voice to Grandpa Lou Pickles on the Nickelodeon animated series Rug Rats from 1991 until his passing, after which Joe Alasky took over the role. Additionally, Doyle was a seasoned stage actor. He took on the role of Orgon in the 1964 premiere of Richard Wilbur's translation of Tartuffe at the Fred Miller Theater in Milwaukee. In the same production, his sister Mary played the maid Doreen. His New York stage credits encompassed Beg, Borrow, or Steal, Something About a Soldier, Here's Love, I Was Dancing, and a revival of South Pacific. Doyle entered into matrimony twice. He wed his first wife, Rachel, in 1956, and they had a daughter, Leah, born 1961. Rachel tragically passed away in 1968 after a fall from a staircase. The following year, during a revival of the play South Pacific, Doyle encountered Anne Nathan, a singer-dancer, and they tied the knot shortly thereafter. Doyle succumbed to a heart attack in Los Angeles, California, on February 26, 1997, at the age of 67. Tanya Roberts as Julie Rogers. To step in after Hack departed from the series model and former, dance instructor Tanya Roberts took on the role of the street-smart Julia Rogers, introducing a distinct Angel archetype to the show, though she had been steadily taking on acting roles since 1975, Charlie's Angels marked her first prominent and visible role, which proved not to be her last. In 1982, she portrayed the seductive love interest in The Beastmaster, a sword and sorcery barbarian film. K 
Keeping with the tradition of fantasy and minimal attire, she assumed the title role in Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, in 1984. Following this, Roberts earned the distinction of playing Stacy Sutton, the Bond girl in the 1985 film A View to a Kill. For contemporary audiences, her most recognizable role might be Midge Panciotti on That 70s Show, a character she portrayed for six years. She eventually departed from the show abruptly to be with her ailing husband who passed away in 2006. It appears she has distanced herself from the public eye in recent times, although she did contribute the foreword to The Q Guide to Charlie's Angels, published in 2008. John Forsyth as Charles Townsend. Charles Charlie Townsend is a fictional character and the unseen mysterious millionaire who employs the trio of private investigators known as the Angels. Despite being a central figure in the series, Charlie is never shown on screen, and his face is never fully revealed. The first born among three siblings, Forsyth was born John Lincoln Freund on January 29, 1918, in Penns Grove, New Jersey, to Blanche Forsyth and Samuel Jeremiah Freund, a stockbroker. Blanche, born in Georgia, was the daughter of David Hyatt Blome, a Russian Jewish immigrant, and Mary S. Matterson. Mary was born in Maryland to Jewish emigrants from Prussia. Forsyth's father, born in New York, hailed from Polish Jewish immigrants. Forsyth grew up practicing the Jewish faith. Forsyth's spouse of 51 years, Julie Warren, October 20, 1919, August 15, 1994, passed away at the age of 74 due to cancer in a hospital. Forsyth had made the decision to disconnect her life support system as she had fallen into a coma following severe breathing difficulties. In July 2002, Forsyth entered matrimony with businesswoman Nicole Carter, May 27, 1941, May 11, 2010, at Ballard Country Church. They remained united in marriage until Forsyth's demise, Nicole Carter. Forsyth, sadly, passed away five weeks after her husband, L.Q. Jones as Burdette, L.Q. Jones portrayed the character Burdette in the television series. Jones marked his entry into films in 1955 with Battle Cry, credited under his original name, Justus McQueen. He assumed the character name L.Q. Jones in that film, a moniker he embraced and continued using as his stage name for all subsequent acting roles. In 1955, he took on the role of Smitty Smith, in three episodes of Clint Walker's ABC Warner Brothers Western series, Cheyenne, the inaugural hour-long Western on network television. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Jones featured in numerous films. He became a part of Sam Peckinpah's ensemble of actors, appearing in the Klondike series, 1960-1961, Ride the High Country, 1962, Major Dundee, 1965, the Wild Bunch, 1969, The Ballad of Cable Hogue, 1970, and Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, 1973. Jones, a practicing Methodist and registered Republican, passed away from natural causes at his Hollywood Hills residence in Los Angeles on July 9, 2022, at the age of 94. Soon Tech O, as Latanta Torres, Portraying the character Licenta Torres in the series, Suntek O oh was born on June 29, 1932, in Mokpo during the period of Korean history when the country was under Japanese rule. He completed high school in Gwangju, South Korea, and later attended Yonsei University in Seoul. Following the end of Japanese rule in August 1945 and before the onset of the Korean War in June 1950, he and his family immigrated to the United States, where he enrolled at the University of Southern California. He later earned an MFA from UCLA. In his Broadway career, he was part of the original cast of the Stephen Sondheim musical Pacific Overtures. O oh was an early member of East West Players, an Asian American theater group founded in 1965. In 1995, he established the Korean American Theater Group, Society of Heritage Performers, which eventually transformed into the present Lodestone Theater Ensemble. 
From 2005, he served as a chair professor at Seoul Institute of the Arts. Oh passed away in Los Angeles on April 4, 2018, at the age of 85, following a prolonged battle with Alzheimer's disease, as reported by actor Chil Kong. Lynn Marta as Linda Assuming the character Linda in the TV series, Lynn Marta was born in Somerville, New Jersey, on October 30, 1945, and was one of two daughters in the family of George Marta, a first-generation Italian-American, and his wife, Ruth. Marta's initial screen appearances occurred in 1966, featuring in an episode of the comedy series Gidget. She became a regular on the syndicated variety program, The Lloyd Thaxton Show, and the anthology series Love, American Style, 1969-1974. Her career primarily involved guest roles on episodic television, often making multiple appearances on the same series as different characters, including the FBI, Cannon, Medical Center, The Streets of San Francisco, Barnaby Jones, Trapper John, M.D., and Vega. In 1983, People magazine reported an open relationship between Marta and actor David Soule. The article elucidated... Throughout the Star Sky and Hutch years, David and Lynn lived together but spent time with other people. Marta was an ear witness to the murder of actress Rebecca Schaefer in 1989. Dick Sargent as Avery. Dick Sargent portrayed the character Avery in the series. Born on April 19, 1930, in Carmel by the Sea, California, Sargent's original name was Richard Stanford Cox. His parents were Ruth McNaughton and Colonel Elmer Cox. Ruth, under the stage name Ruth Powell, had minor supporting roles in films like The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse and Hearts and Trumps with Nazimova. Elmer, a World War I veteran, later worked as a business manager for Hollywood figures such as Douglas Fairbanks and Eric von Stroheim. On National Coming Out Day in 1991, Sargent publicly revealed his homosexuality, advocating for gay rights. Concerned about the high suicide rates among young gay individuals, he humorously referred to himself as a retroactive role model. Sargent acknowledged that assumptions about his health, possibly linked to his prostate cancer, may have led people to think he suffered from AIDS. Diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1989, Sargent initially received optimistic prospects for treatment. Unfortunately, the disease progressed, and by early 1994, he was seriously ill. On July 8, 1994, at the age of 64, Sargent succumbed to the illness. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey through the iconic cast of Charlie's Angels. It's incredible to see how these talented individuals have evolved over the years. If you enjoyed this trip down memory lane, don't forget to hit the like button, Share your thoughts in the comments and subscribe for more content like this. And for all you Charlie's Angels fans out there, keep the spirit alive. Stay tuned for more updates and until next time, this is your channel name signing off. Take care and stay nostalgic.